is Renee Havener. I live in central New York and work as a telehealth care coordinator for the largest health care provider in the U.S. I grew up climbing trees, looking for crayfish in the creek, skipping rocks in her pond, and truly loving every minute that I spent outdoors. And all that time outside sometimes led me to finding sick or injured animals. I even brought home a baby skunk once, much to my family's dismay. And that nurturing tendency naturally led me to becoming a nurse where I could continue to nurture and help heal others. And what I've learned as an adult is that animals and people usually become sick as a result of the environment around them. Healthy people need a healthy planet, and right now our planet is very sick. And that's why I became a nurse climate champion. Most of my patients have COPD or heart failure. Breathing is a struggle on good days and nearly impossible on bad days. They're prone to getting pneumonia and getting the flu can kill them. When the forecast calls for hot and humid weather, I educate my patients to avoid going outside and to run air conditioners if they're lucky enough to have them. I educate my patients to stay indoors or wrap their faces in a scarf if they go out on cold days. Their lives are spent tethered to oxygen and they're never more than a few feet from inhalers or nebulizers. Nurses across the U.S. and across the globe are treating increased respiratory illnesses. They're treating more dehydration, heat stroke, and vector-borne diseases like Lyme. Choices that we all make every day are creating this. Nurses are trained to treat the whole person. We don't just look at a single symptom, we look at the big picture. And the truth is that the vehicles we drive, toxic chemicals sprayed on crops and on our lawns, every piece of plastic, every unnecessary light that we leave on, every bit of food wasted, and every single use item we use leads to unhealthy people and a warming global temperature. Nature cannot restore balance when we are relentlessly tipping the scales. I joined the Nurses Climate Challenge to help educate my fellow nurses about how much climate change impacts health. There are things we can do in our homes, our practice, our organizations, and our communities that can mitigate damage already done and prevent future crisis. I hope that you will join me and my fellow champions who are committed to climate solutions.